Hello, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Glass Lotuses, and I am an artist, storyteller, and the creator of the webtoon The Right Hand of Death. I initially started posting content to TikTok, but with the state of that platform being currently in question, I've decided to try my hand to expand my platform to some potentially longer form videos here. If you're from the Clock app and knew me there, I am so delighted to know that you've found me here. If you're new to my content, please allow me to explain my wonderful weird world to you and do please enjoy. First of all, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I have been crafting stories and worlds for as long as I can remember. When I was little, I used to stay up way too late at night writing in a spiral-bound notebook by the light of a nightlight. I doodled in class a lot, and eventually I picked up digital art on an old site called Rate My Drawings, and then I was gifted a Wacom tablet for Christmas when I turned 13. I mostly started with abstract art, though, because I was extremely self-critical and didn't feel like my ability to draw characters was anywhere near what I wanted it to be. I spent about a year avoiding what I actually wanted to do, until eventually I started using GIMP and practiced a lot more but didn't show anything off. I started posting to DeviantArt, but I didn't get much attention, and somewhere in that era I started writing the first iteration of The Right Hand of Death. I wrote several hundred pages of it, and then I dropped it because I didn't like the way it was going. And then I tried drawing it, and then I dropped it again because I didn't think my art skills were up to par yet. I always lacked the confidence to do much with it, and no one ever seemed super interested, so it ended up falling entirely by the wayside when I went to college. I ended up doing a lot of tabletop RPG commissions during that time, and my skills massively improved. But I had been pushing myself to do so many commissions during college that I got terribly burned out and I stopped drawing for over a year. Towards the end of 2020, I started drawing again, but I didn't have a community with which to share my art. TikTok happened to be in the right place at the right time, and on Christmas Day, I posted my first video about one of the gods in the pantheon of the right hand of death. And I kept posting, and it took off. A community gathered around me for my storytelling, my world building, my art, and my voice. And that community eventually pushed me to try writing it again and drawing. I've now drafted the first book and a half of the story, and I'm four chapters deep into the webtoon. It's come a long way, and I'd love to keep it going, which is why I want to spread here in case other aspects of my platform don't quite pan out. So what exactly is The Right Hand of Death about? It is a thrilling story about a young girl named Saina Lysith, who is the descendant of the God of Death and the last princess of a necromancy-based kingdom. Long ago, the gods fought and perished, and their magic was spread throughout the world, leaving fragments of their souls behind as a last means of reawakening them. Sena possesses the soul of the death god, and as such, people wish to use her to either bring back the gods, kill her, or control her. She ends up befriending a prince sent from an enemy kingdom to kill her, and they end up navigating the difficulties which come with their circumstances together. The story starts with them in their mid-teens, but after several chapters, they're torn apart for a while and come back together later, older, with some more chaotic opinions of the world. I've spent over 10 years building this world at this point, and most of my content centers around the various building blocks that make up the story. I talk about the gods, the history, the economies, the tension, the magic, everything. Through my YouTube channel, I'll be sharing my art, my process, and my journey with you. So I invite you to join me on this journey. Uh, If you are so inclined, please subscribe to my channel, leave your comments and questions, and let's create something amazing together. Thank you for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.